Don't look now, because you might not believe your eyes when you see these stars seeing stars and tripping over everything, including their tongues. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, with the, um, um, you don't know it. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, ooh. I To all the fun that wasn't supposed to happen on Cartoon Network's funniest bloopers and other embarrassing moments. Now your host, Mr. Tom Kenny. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hey, hi. Oh, and hello. Now, sit down. We only have an hour. Hi. I'm Tom Kenny, your host for Cartoon Network's funniest bloopers and other embarrassing moments. Welcome to my set. I don't laugh. You should see my dressing room. I'd show it to you, but somebody's driving it uh, right now to get coffee for the crew. Hey, it was either this or use the set of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Trust me, once you work with those guys, you can never get that smell out of your clothes. Anyways, by now you probably all know what a blooper is, right? No, Timmy, it's not that funny little noise you make in the bathtub sometimes. You've all seen famous overpaid actors blowing their lines, uh, home videos of people setting themselves on fire, and dogs not quite making that leap across the couch, and dads getting hit with softballs and rakes in that place where, well, only dads can get hit. And you can bet good money that what you're seeing right now is probably not the first take. The first take. First take. The terst fake. The first take. Okay. Probably not. Probably this will be it. First take. There must be one that you like by now. Ah! But what you probably don't or didn't know is cartoon characters have the same problem. Yeah, that's right. They get it the wrong way way, way more than they get it right. I mean, let's face it. If these guys aren't falling off a cliff, they're falling up one. And they rarely remember their lines from one take to the next. Because by the time that ink's dry, they can barely remember what day it is. All those fumes. You think the mayor always gets his lines right? Well, of course. Uh, that's why I have been elected the, uh, uh, uh who, who am I again? Uh, yes, the mayor, of course I am. You're Tonawanda. I know the city. But seriously, most people have no idea how hard it is to be a cartoon. So tonight you are going to see any and every kind of blooper, mistake, blown line, or embarrassing moment you can possibly imagine, or hopefully some you'd never imagine. And to start it off, let me just give you an example of a few of our network's most famous characters looking like, well, Maroons. You're going to like it. Forward. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That is a tough experiment, Dexter. You know, oddly, the same thing happened to me in fourth grade. Of course, it all turned out for the best because that's when I found out I could do cartoon voices. But that actually leads us into our next bit. For the past three or four thousand years, at least, researchers from some of our most prestigious community colleges have done studies to find out if cartoon characters do indeed feel pain. I, I know when I hit my head, my eyes don't jump three feet out of their sockets, but they do water a little. Hey, it's not always from crying. But what happens when Tom's head gets flattened with a loaded meat freezer, or Yosemite Sam eats the business end of a big old cannon? What goes through their heads first, besides Freon or gunpowder? Or, say, what happens when a cartoon character swallows an animal, or, say, an engine part much bigger than themselves? Sure, they may pop back into shape eventually, but What's the long-term damage? I think this next series of clips offers a painful lesson to us all that sometimes everybody hurts, especially when your head gets flat. Dun, 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 dun. Those guys are good, and that was a very courageous scene to be doing way back in the Stone Age. Move over, Fred and Ginger. It's Fred and Barney. Now it's time to get serious, because, you know, in this business, there is no room for jocularity. People think, oh, cartoon characters, oh, they must have a blast just laughing it up all the time with the jokes and the hijinks, always pulling each other's legs right off. But let me tell you, when that director yells action and those animated auteurs step into that painted background, playtime is over. These are professionals. Just watch. Ah, I love that clip. You know, at camp, we used to put kids' hands in warm water after they fell asleep. Never tried it with pig. Of course, in those days, they wouldn't let you bring pigs to camp. You can't bring that pig in here. They'll sink the canoe. And they make horrible keychains. No thumbs. Just little hooves and, uh... Where was I? Oh, right here. 
next to the useless ladder. You know, it seems like the word comeuppance gets thrown around a lot these days, and that's hard, because it's a very big word and quite heavy. But once in a while, a character comes along that seems to just beg for it, and nobody wears kick me quite as well as Daffy Duck. Right now, we're gonna bring you a classic moment in Daffy's career, one of my favorites, when anything that could go wrong went really, really wrong. When Murphy's Law collided with the Law of Averages, you know? Murphy's Law versus the Law of Averages, and this time, nobody wins! I'm not sure what Murphy's Law is. I think it means you can't buy bug spray on Sundays. Anyways, here now, in all his feathers, Daffy Duck in Duck Amuck. I'm gonna get a good seat. He said action. <laughs> Don't worry, Elmer, my grandmother used to wear one of those. Uh, not the girdle, the hat. Grandma was a steel driver man. But hey, that's not your problem. Speaking of problems, and we were, you know, every show, be it cartoon or live, always has their share of production problems or te technical di difficulties. Mr. Cameraman, eyes over here. Good, good boy. Anyways, let me explain how these things work. What and that's how it happens. But hey, why take my word for it? Take a look for yourself. Hey, it's very funny to watch in cartoons, but remember, hundreds are hospitalized in flying underwear mishaps each and every year, so be careful out there. Seriously, we all fall on our proverbial faces once in a while, which is why it's always smart to have two. But once in a while, we all have one of those days when everything comes up about that short, when it's not the last step that's a doozy, but the first step that's a doozy. Speaking of which, can you even find doozy steps anymore? I don't know. I'm going to have to check at the hardware store. Anyway, watch this, watch your step, and keep your underwear safe. You know, he might as well throw that barrel away right now, because he can never wear that anymore, especially to gym class. Believe me, I know. Okay, now it is time to get down to brass tacks, which, ironically enough, I happen to get a very good deal on from this next character, who says they were only misused one time. Who am I talking about? Well, let me put it this way. Maybe once in a generation, a cartoon character comes along that changes everything we've ever believed about phrases like, if at first you don't succeed, or never say die. A character that spells, ow! Oh, 24 hours a day, and not always correctly. Yes, there is only one name that so defines the blooper ideals. One name that knows the agony of defeat on such an intimate first name basis. One name that takes incompetence to such a higher level that the mere mention of his name sends Acme lawyers scrambling for no-fault waivers. Please now for our tribute to that master of personal disaster himself, Wiley Kyle! Super robots closing in! <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, let me just say there's nothing wrong with men wearing dresses. As long as it's after seven, you wear the right heels. But men, stay away from open-toed sandals. Not a good look for us. Okay, well, you know... Boom's in the shot. Okay, well, you know, sometimes... Boom's in the shot. You know, sometimes... Boom is in the shot. Get... Putting a show together takes a lot more work than you would think. I know right now you're thinking an elementary school education would probably do it, but trust me, that's because we make it look easy. Anyway, not all the things that can go wrong take place in front of the cameras. Like, in this rarely seen footage, we get a backstage look at what happens during rehearsals before one of Bugs Bunny's big musical extravaganza. And hey, professionals like Bugs and Yosemite Sam, Daffy, they can do this in their sleep. But it's like my first acting coach used to say, Without a little sweat equity, you can't get the union card. Then he'd make me lay on the floor and act like a piece of bacon. Fry, I don't see the frying. You're, you're giving me the trichinosis and, and the nitrates, but I'm not buying the sizzle. It's no good. Well, you can see how my career has skyrocketed. But right now, let's see what happens in this rarely seen footage from Bugs Bunny's Blooper Bunny. <sighs> well, to quote Porky, and if you're gonna quote somebody, why not a pig? That's all, folks. We hope you've learned a few things tonight. We hope you've learned that, hey, cartoons are human after all, and sometimes they make mistakes and they get it wrong. Just like you. The only difference is their heads go back into shape a lot quicker, and if they didn't, well, they probably wouldn't be on the air. But the most important thing to remember is, hey, we all have our own embarrassing moments in life, no matter how big or small. And mine, I think it's this show. Good night, I've been Tom Kenny. Thank you.
I'm Tom Kenny, millionaire playboy, and your host for Cartoon Network. You don't want to see this on TV ever. Dun, 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 dun. How do those guys do that? They are good. Sorry. Uh, of course, in those days, they wouldn't let you bring pigs to camp, but not like now. Oh, you get... Ah, shoot. Nobody wears kick me on his back quite well as Daffy Duck.